Network conditions are going to affect how we're going to send media from one side to another. We've got two devices and we want to pass media in real time through the network from one machine to the other. Now remember, what we want to do is to do that in low latency and be able to play back what is being done or said on one end in the other. So in this case, we've got two different machines, one on the left and one on the right. These are our devices and we're trying to send media or data from one machine to the other. We're going to do it with messages, packets over the network. And we're going to see certain things or certain characteristics of the network that can affect what it is that we're doing. The first one is packet loss and duplications. We send media or messages from one side to the other. The first media being sent, it got received on the other side. The second one might get lost along the way. And there is no way for the second machine to know if something got lost unless we put mechanisms in place for that. The first message here might even be received more than once. More than once. We've got a duplication handled on the network. And then we might get another message, message number three. So you can see that one way to deal with this is to put sequence numbering so we know when things are being received, their order and their sequences. Another problem that we have is reordering. The order in which we send the messages is not necessarily the order in which these messages will be received. So if I'm sending you know, three messages here, message number one might be received after message number two. Somehow they got reordered along the way, they took different rounds maybe, or got into different aspects of the network. And now in we sent, we sent messages one, two, and three and received two, one, and three. Since this is something that needs to happen sequentially, we're trying to say something or to view something, this will need to be reordered by the receiver. A third problem is jitter. Remember that what we're dying to do here is a flow of messages. They need to be synchronous and they need to happen in the way that they were recorded and sent. Otherwise, we will have stuttering or other, you know, other freezes that occur. And the problem in the network is jitter. If I send a message, number one here, and then message number two, and then message number three, and then four, and then five, if you notice, all of these messages were sent with a diff specific interval between them, the same interval. They even got in the same order to the other side, but not with the same interval in which they were sent. So now we'll, we will need to smooth thing, things out when we want to play them back. So we've seen packet loss, we've seen duplication, we've seen reordering, and we've seen jitter, things that occur in the network. And in WebRTC and Voice over IP, we need to treat these with special solutions, usually by means of using RTP and RTCP. You can learn more about these terms in the webrtcglossary.com and you can check out my training courses at webrtccourse.com. Thank you.